Hi, it's Anya from Devilover. I will show you how to use uh, Divi template hooks and conditional logic to display different headers on pages where uh, you can't use the Divi Builder. I would like to use this sample blog page as an example. It's just a standard uh, Divi blog page. I have five different categories and I would like to display uh, a different header in each uh, category. I already created a lay layout in my uh, Divi library. Let me show you. I would like to include this part uh, above the blog post, just below the navigation. Um, I made this blurb section here and I would like to uh, have each blurb selected for each category. So let me copy these module styles and paste them on this one and do the same here and paste them here. Okay, and let me save that as a different layout. And I need to do the same for each category. using uh, keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste module styles in between modules. Okay, let's save this. And one last one for the main blog page with none of the uh, tabs here uh, selected. Let's call it blog and just Okay, uh, now if I go back um, to my library, you will see that I have six different uh, layouts I can use. I will need to know what's uh, each layout ID and it's uh, in the address bar of the browser uh, while you edit uh, your layout. It's also visible when you hover over this link. Okay, so uh, to display the layout on our page, we'll use the same method as for the global footer, which is using DV template hooks to insert a short code with, uh, uh, with, this, with this layout. So if I go to edit my functions PHP file in my child team. I can add a new function for my um, for my block headers. 
let's call it TV Lover Block Headers. And we'll hook it to an action hook that's called uh, et before main content dl block headers. Okay, and let's paste the short code to display. Uh, one of my layouts, but I don't want this layout to be visible on every page of my website, which is what this function is doing at, right now. So I need a conditional logic here. We'll say if is category travel will display this short code. Okay, let me check if that works. It doesn't show on the main blog page, but if I go to travel category, here it is, wonderful. So you can use your uh, category slag, category name, or your category ID here. In this case, slags are easier for me. Okay, let's do the second one. Else if is category beauty, we'll see what's the ID. And do the same for all five of them. Okay, let's update this. And now it works. <laughs> okay, that's uh, really useful, I think. And I hope <laughs> you'll find it useful as well. Uh, there's one more conditional tag we can use to display header for uh, main blog page. This is the page that's set as a posts page. If you go to uh, your dashboard settings, reading, the blog page, uh, the page you set here, displays your latest posts. And conditional tag to uh, use uh, would be is home. If is home, then we do this layout. Okay, and let's see. Lovely. So these are my categories and this is my main blog page. There are uh, many different conditional tags you can use with WordPress. Uh, you can read all about them in the codex. I list a few on my blog posts as well. Uh, and uh, of course there are different template hooks you can use with Divi. Uh, you can insert your layout not only um, before main content, but also after main content to have different footers, for example, on different pages and so on. So hopefully uh, you find it useful and uh, you can uh, use the same layout um, as my example. If you like, you can download all the files uh, from my blog post. Thanks for watching and see you next time.